welcome to this week's edition of the Ultimate Fighter Review. I am Matt Salzer. So today I'm going over episode 27. And uh, so what happened in this episode is you had Rachel Ostovich, I guess last name, uh, another name is Berdon, versus uh, Melinda Fabian. And Melinda is unique in that she's the first Hungarian to look to possibly getting into the UFC. And then you have Rachel, who's a mother. And I've actually seen her fight, and I've actually talked to her on Invicta cards, and where she dresses up as Wonder Woman. Um, little hint there, she's going to probably appear on my top 10 costumes list. So, yeah, it... Um, you know, the episode went around where, you know, Melinda's kind of is, is still dealing with some, uh, with an injured thigh. And then she wanted to do this, uh, this routine with, um, Eddie Alvarez, who's just like, um, I, I got a routine going on. Why are you going, going rogue? He specifically used those terms, going rogue. And then you had... Rachel just, you know, being confident in what she had to do and stuff like that. And she also talked about how her, um, her daughter was born with a birth defect and had to go through, uh, some surgery, like, a few days after birth. And then, um, and then, <laughs> you had Rachel one talking with Maya Stevenson about what to wear for the wedding. <laughs> And then Roxanne Modafferi talked about how it mentioned that she's basically like a Victoria's Secret model. And then uh, Rachel earlier in the show mentioned that, you know, if she doesn't talk about how she fights because people are asking why didn't she be a model. Which, admittedly, she's a very beautiful woman. So, you know, maybe that's something she could do afterwards. But anyways, so, um, then you had the actual fight. And at points, Melinda looked like she had control, but then it didn't, it, she didn't. And then Rachel took her down and submitted her. That's exactly what, how I expected the fight to go. Um, to be honest, I don't know why Melinda was ranked so much higher above Rachel. Um, and that's the that's the thing with the with seasons where it's it's actually seated. I don't think that's the best way of determining a fight. You know, I I just I. I, I really don't I don't think that's that's really the best way for a fight to be determined is for seating because seating is very subjective. Seating is subjective. We've seen what happens on a uh, we've seen what happens in a fight when you know uh, things in the Ultimate Fighter. You know things could you know you you could pick people the best way that you want, but ultimately the seating is subjective. So, uh, yeah, um, that's, that's that. We'll, um, and the next, we got one last, um, uh, preliminary fight before the corner finals. So we will see how that goes. So with that, be sure to like, share, subscribe to MMA Freak on Twitter at MMA Freak Out. My personal Twitter is at Matthew Salzer. Math, um, <clears throat> Facebook, be sure to check out ma-freak.com for exclusive content. I'm Matthew from MMA Freak, and I'll see you next time.